laws will be passed, and we already have them on the books, in which you can be ordered off and out of your property. Don't laugh. Don't mock it. That's enough. That's all it's going to take for people to surrender their freedoms and their sovereignty. Now, there are many armaments out there and many armed individuals who are not so interested, shall we say, in letting the government take care of them. Because the same government will not seal the borders. It will not close off the source of all infectious diseases now coming into the United States like Chagris and the, uh, the reoccurrence of other diseases as well that are affecting school children. The one good thing about what happened recently in Rhode Island with that purported threat to attack and to harm children in the schools of Rhode Island is that parents could keep their children at home, and that's wonderful. It's the beginning of a genesis of homeschooling again. And if that were to take place, Amen. Amen and amen and amen. We need to get them out of the government school system. We need to keep them free of pollution, not only physically and biochemically, but also in the mind. Because the scriptures tell us, folks, in the mind is going to be the mark of Cain, the mark of his seed line, right down to the end. The mark of the beast is not going to be a microchip. It's not going to be something implanted on the forehead and on the skin or under the skin. It, it is in the mind doing the work of the beast, the beast system, the government's system worldwide, following the seed line of Cain and the medical community, the military community, and the media most of all. Let's not leave out the religious community because that's one of the four dynasties that God deals with, the religious community worldwide. Isn't it interesting that Pope Francis recently came out, reached out to his dear friend, after all, he does have a kosher kitchen, you know, to uh, Shimon Perez in the state of Israeli. And uh, he wants him and, the, and his friends, all the religions, to come together and see if we can create a united nations of religions. Isn't that interesting at this time? A UN of world religion. That's exactly what the scriptures tell us will happen in the last days. The religious beast will presad or precede the beast himself, which is the final system under Satan. Governments will fail. Iron and clay do not mix in the book of Daniel. And we see that that is going to be the case with regard to worldwide control by a supernatural government. It will happen, but it will fail. The mortal wound, however, when it fails, will have to be healed. And who will come in to heal it? Take a guess. You got it. Satan himself. He's going to come in and heal the world. False healing. False Christ. Antichrist. It means instead of Christ. He will appear where? In Jerusalem. How? In the temple. And he will command people to bow the knee. The elect will not do that. The Zadok will not do that. After the priesthood of Melchizedek, the Zadok are the justified ones in this age. And they're not going to bow that knee. They're not going to recognize Satan. They're going to rebuke him and preach out against him. And when they do, <coughs> excuse me, all hell will break loose. Persecution, beheadings, right there in Jerusalem. It's going to be a time of wailing and gnashing of teeth for some, but a time of rejoicing for others. If you are one of the elect in these last days, you understand what I'm saying. The rest of you, for your own good, God has sealed it. God has kept you in darkness. So what the heck is that guy talking about? What's he on? Good. You're not meant to. For your own safety. Because if you understand what I'm saying and you bow that knee when Satan comes here to heal the world, you gonna lose your trouble, you're gonna lose your soul. Big trouble. And you don't want to be losing your soul because only he can destroy both body and soul, God. Satan cannot. Watch for the end times and watch the city of Jerusalem. Worldwide. Folks, we're out of time. 
We're going to come back again next time with our next special edition of The Deadly Experiment, Rick Adams, Uncensored as well, on Republic. Thank you all, and goodbye, and Yahweh blesses you.